Isn't it ironic that we often feel comfortable around people who secretly wish us harm, simply because we don't exercise our capacity to discern their true feelings? Envy is a cunning emotion. Rarely does anyone openly admit they're jealous of you. Yet no matter how hard they try to hide it, envious individuals emit a perceptible negative energy, a discomfort that seeps through their words and attitudes, revealing their dissatisfaction with your progress and achievements. Recognizing these signs is essential to understand their intentions and label them for what they truly are, envious people. Therefore, follow this content until the end. Throughout this material, you will discover 10 clear signs that reveal when someone is harboring envy toward you. Furthermore, you'll learn how to respond appropriately once you detect this kind of behavior. Before we proceed, consider subscribing to this channel if you haven't already, since the presence of envious people around you can put your dreams at risk. Living alongside those who do not celebrate your victories is like walking through a minefield. Even if you are happy, moving steadily toward your goals and realizing your aspirations, if someone nearby can't stand seeing your success, they may begin to sabotage you subtly or even openly. Envy often springs from harmful comparisons. When people measure your success solely by what they perceive on the surface, be it your professional growth, financial stability, or the harmony in your personal life, they may feel a latent discomfort, a sense of inferiority silently gnawing at them. Those who have closer access to your most intimate achievements, perhaps due to a more personal relationship, are especially susceptible to this feeling if they're not emotionally prepared to handle the brilliance of your success. In truth, we have all felt envy at some point. The big question is, how do we respond to this impulse? Do we ignore it, transform it into motivation for our own improvement, or allow it to take root in our hearts, growing until it becomes bitterness and resentment? If someone gives in to envy and acts on their darkest impulses, that feeling can evolve into hatred, slander, and in extreme cases, concrete plans to harm the other person. That's why it's essential not to overlook even the smallest sign of envy directed at you. Envy often serves as a gateway through which negative influences infiltrate a relationship, corroding trust and generating a toxic environment. So stay alert. In this detailed guide, we will delve into the 10 main signs that someone is envious of you. And as important as recognizing them, we will discuss the proper strategies to handle this situation wisely and calmly. Follow along until the end and don't miss any revelations as each point explored here provides a deeper insight into human nature and the dynamics of relationships marked by envy. Here then are the 10 signs that indicate when someone is harboring envy towards you and what to do once you discover it. They copy what you do. A very common sign of envy is certain individuals' tendency to imitate your ideas, style, or strategies. Deep down, these people can't admit they are jealous of you. Yet they desperately want to achieve the same shine, prominence, or recognition you already have. Unable to express their admiration in a healthy way, they resort to copying you in hopes of absorbing a bit of your personal value believing they'll obtain something equally special. When they see you making progress with your endeavors, they view it as the perfect opportunity to hop on the same bandwagon. The root of this behavior lies in the deep insecurities they carry. Instead of valuing their own talents, they focus on what you've achieved. For them, imitating your way of thinking, working, dressing, or even expressing yourself is a means to create an identity they deem more valuable, a way to achieve the same self-esteem and relevance they believe you possess. However, 
as they continue to copy you, they inevitably start competing. If you excel in a certain skill, they will try to prove they can do better, even if that means forcing a personality they do not have. A simple example, if you received numerous compliments on an outfit you wore to an event, next time this person will go to great lengths to stand out with an over-the-top ensemble, hoping to receive the same level of praise. The logic here is, if they mimic your steps, creativity and style, they will also receive the same social approval. What they don't understand is that the world values originality and authenticity. You stand out precisely because you remain true to your essence, because you do what genuinely aligns with your strengths and personality. When someone tries to be a copy, their effort inevitably comes across as artificial. It's practically impossible to maintain such an exhausting posture. Trying to be someone else requires tremendous energy and ends up making everything feel mechanical and empty. Moreover, living in another person's shadow, trying to replicate their ideas and attitudes, is a heavy burden, a continuous prison of dissatisfaction, because they will never achieve the natural harmony you possess. Number two, envious people don't just copy what you do. They often attempt to diminish your achievements and destabilize your self-confidence. When you present a creative project, or display a specific talent, such as a piece of art. They tend to downplay the value of your work, using phrases like, it's good, but it's not all that. They might exaggerate negative points, highlighting supposedly inappropriate colors, or suggesting that no one will like what you've done. Their goal isn't to contribute constructively, but to wound your self-esteem making you doubt your abilities. Sabotage is another common tactic. If you're preparing for an important exam, they might provide false information about dates or locations to undermine your performance. They may even hide materials that would be helpful, hoping you won't achieve the success you planned. In parallel, they use social isolation tactics, organizing gatherings or events without including you, causing you to question your value within the group. All of this creates an environment where you feel excluded, insecure, and unsure about your true capabilities. Spreading gossip, rumors, and distorted information is a frequent tool. When you accomplish something remarkable, like a workplace award or a promotion, they try to attribute your advance to questionable methods, insinuating you sucked up to superiors or even corrupted the system. These distortions serve to stain your reputation, making others doubt the legitimacy of your achievements. If they can't find anything negative in your history, they won't hesitate to invent lies, hoping to discredit you in front of your team or community. If you begin noticing that confidential information shared only with someone you trust, is getting out. It's a sign that a strategic leak may be happening. This behavior is hard to identify because such individuals appear kind to your face, but behind your back, they create negative scenarios to undermine you. At the same time, they believe that by dragging you down, they can level the playing field. After all, envy makes them think that if you're on the same level as them, or even below, their own insecurities will diminish. Number three, envious people often adopt a two-faced attitude toward your progress. Although they pretend to be happy about your achievements, it's merely a carefully crafted facade. When you share good news, completing an important project, getting a promotion at work, or gaining public recognition for your talent, they may flash a forced smile and offer shallow praise. On the inside, however, they feel a discomfort that's hard to disguise. Should you fail or face a setback, their relief and satisfaction become almost palpable. 
They may even spread word of the incident, emphasizing your downfall to reinforce the idea that you're not as great as everyone thinks. For them, seeing you fail works like a balm against their own sense of inferiority because it makes you seem less untouchable or special, thus narrowing the gap between you. Identifying this behavior requires attention to subtle cues. Body language, for example, can reveal a person's true intent. When you share positive news, instead of sincere enthusiasm, they might offer a tense, dull smile or roll their eyes briefly before resuming a facade of happiness. Closed body postures, like crossed arms and legs, also indicate discomfort. Often they'll try to change the subject quickly, avoiding delving deeper or genuinely celebrating your success. Moreover, a spiritual dimension of discernment can be crucial. By maintaining an intimate connection with the Holy Spirit, you can sense who genuinely rejoices in your prosperity and who just keeps up appearances while secretly harboring resentment and silent competition. Number four, another typical behavior of envious people is discouraging you whenever you develop a great idea. Even when they recognize the potential of a proposal, they prefer to cast doubts on its viability, emphasizing hypothetical risks and setbacks that could make you feel insecure. They have no qualms questioning your ability to execute the plan, suggesting that the public won't be interested, that there will be no return, or that the required resources are excessive and unrealistic. They wear a mask of false concern, trying to make you believe they're being rational, experienced and prudent by warning you against possible failures. However, if they truly cared, their approach would be different. They'd suggest useful contacts, partnerships, investment sources, or even offer their own practical support, when concern is merely a disguise for undermining your confidence. You won't receive constructive guidance, only encouragement of fear, uncertainty, and doubt. That's why filtering the advice you receive is crucial. If you sense that the source of criticism is not genuine care, but rather concealed envy, do not treat those words as truth. Instead, counter these statements with divine promises, remembering that if God has guided you towards something, he will also provide the necessary resources to carry it out. Not everyone will believe in your vision, but when you align it with God's plan, seemingly insurmountable obstacles can be overcome. Faith and prayer come into play again in this situation. When you face resistance, demotivating criticism, or coolness disguised as support, turn to God, seeking his guidance, protection, and wisdom. Your decisions need not rely on opinions tainted by envy. It's possible to discern and separate valid advice from those meant only to destabilize you. Confidence in a higher purpose and the conviction that God directs your steps serve as effective shields against negative influences. In this way, you stay focused, refusing to let fear of failure, subtle criticism, or apparent rooting for your downfall affect the path set before you. Number five, there are moments when envious individuals try to convince you that your dedication, determination, and hard work are excessive. They question the pace you set for your activities, suggesting that you slow down or moderate your dreams, not out of genuine concern, but because they can't keep up with your pace. By saying your objectives are unrealistic or too distant, they seek to diminish your ambitions, hoping that by slowing you down, you'll fail to reach goals they themselves have neither the capacity nor the willingness to pursue. The truth is that no one should dictate the speed of your journey, except God, who knows the purpose for which he created you and precisely how to guide you on the right path. Envious people try to convince you that you're doing something frivolous 
or excessive, when in reality you're merely following the calling you've received. If you have a deep zeal for bringing people closer to God and to what is true and just, acting with intensity isn't exaggeration. It's a natural response to your purpose. Jesus himself experienced this. Zeal for the Father's will consumed his days on earth, leading him to heal, deliver, teach, and transform lives, even though it provoked the wrath and jealousy of religious leaders who considered his commitment excessive. Similarly, if your dedication at work makes you stand out and your boss acknowledges your effort, don't let negative energy from others discourage you. As long as you're not oppressing anyone, abusing your position, or using your skills unjustly, there's no reason to feel guilty for doing your best. Your diligence is not overkill, but a response to the talent and purpose God has entrusted to you. Number six. Envious people also employ subtler strategies, like suggesting easy ways out or elicit shortcuts that may compromise your integrity and steer you away from God's plan for your life. Under the guise of helping you move forward more quickly, they might encourage you to manipulate numbers, provide false information, or choose questionable paths. These tips often come with justifications like everyone does it, or you have to play by their rules to get ahead. Thus, they try to lure you into moral traps, jeopardizing your reputation, character, and even future opportunities. Their intention is not your well-being, but to put you in a vulnerable position where intentional mistakes can ruin your testimony as a person of integrity. They cannot stand seeing you remain faithful to high principles while you progress. By pushing you toward unethical conduct, they hope you become subject to criticism, punishment, or loss of respect, leveling the playing field in their favor. When faced with this type of influence, it's essential to stand firm in your values and resist the temptation to compromise what you believe. Before acting on any advice, seek discernment. Pray and ask God to reveal the true nature of the suggestions you receive. Surround yourself with wise people, those with spiritual maturity and honesty, who can guide you along a path aligned with goodness. Remember that not every piece of advice is for your own good, and one of the greatest challenges is identifying what might lead you astray. If you sense someone is guiding you toward dubious practices, keep your distance. Do not form close bonds with those who treat integrity as disposable. Envy aims to destroy what you've built with righteousness. However, by seeking divine guidance, surrounding yourself with trustworthy counselors, and remaining true to your principles, you can resist these traps and continue moving forward on the path God has set. Number seven, when you share an accomplishment, envious people quickly bring up examples of others who supposedly achieved even greater feats by saying things like, that's good, but have you seen how much more successful Mr. X is? They're not just making an innocent comparison. Their intention is to diminish the value of your success, leading you to believe that there's nothing extraordinary about what you've done. Over time, if you allow these voices to influence you, you might come to think your progress is insignificant and unworthy of celebration. Faced with this behavior, the best thing to do is to stop sharing sensitive information about your life with them. Their reaction to your success clearly shows they don't intend to support you, and that kind of negativity is exactly what you don't need. A toxic environment does not favor the pursuit of goals and dreams. Avoid exposing yourself to these attitudes. Reevaluate how close you remain to such individuals. And remember, they have no authority over the value of your journey. There's no need to argue or confront them directly. Just limit their access to your achievements and plans. 
preventing them from belittling what is meaningful to you. Number eight, there are situations where you genuinely want to help by offering constructive suggestions or more effective ways to solve a problem. However, in an environment marked the envy, good intentions can easily be distorted. When you try to guide an envious person, you encounter defensive and explosive reactions like, so you think you're better than me. This type of response doesn't stem from your action itself, but from the discomfort the person already feels about your competence. They interpret your help as an attack on their self-esteem, viewing each piece of advice as a veiled insult. When faced with these emotional outbursts, self-control is essential. Avoid responding in the heat of the moment, as the situation is already fraught with tension. Instead, calmly clarify that your intention was never to offend, but to help. However, if after attempts at dialogue, resistance and defensiveness persist, it might be time to reconsider the validity of that bond. Continuously engaging in draining interactions marked by misunderstanding is unhealthy. A friendship or partnership where your supportive gestures are always misinterpreted can negatively affect your well-being. Seek environments and relationships in which your intentions are valued, understood, and embraced with the openness necessary for mutual growth. Number nine. A clear indicator of jealousy is when someone attributes your achievements solely to luck. Suppose you spent months planning and launching a new business, praying, researching, and investing effort to ensure its success. An envious person might comment, some people are just lucky in entrepreneurship, completely disregarding the hours you spent analyzing the market, structuring your ideas, and seeking God's guidance. If your academic victory comes after long nights of study, they may reduce your merit to supposed luck with the questions. Moreover, such individuals do not hesitate to dismiss divine grace that helped you overcome illness or a tough situation, attributing your recovery solely to medication or fortuitous circumstances, as if your faith and God's intervention were irrelevant. Living with these people can cause you to doubt the legitimacy of your efforts and even God's presence along your journey. Gradually, faith, determination, and confidence in your abilities might be shaken by their insistence on belittling everything you've accomplished. When faced with this situation, reaffirm the reality of your effort. If someone tries to reduce your achievement to sheer luck, remind them of the time, dedication, and prayers that upheld your project. If it's about a miraculous healing, state without hesitation. I truly believe my healing was a miracle from God. Do not hesitate to testify about what you've experienced. Embrace your story with conviction and give God the glory for what happened. This not only strengthens your faith, but also makes it clear that you recognize the worth of your own effort and divine intervention. Number 10. Envious people may also ignore important moments in your life. If you receive an award or celebrate a milestone, don't be surprised if these individuals simply don't show up or arrive late with vague excuses. In practice, they refuse to acknowledge your achievements, trying to undermine the joy of the moment. They might be co-workers, longtime friends, or even family members. If you notice this pattern repeatedly, there's no problem in ceasing to invite them to special occasions, thus preserving harmony and preventing them from dragging your celebration into a negative atmosphere. Despite everything, the Bible counsels us to exercise caution before simply discarding people. Instead of immediately cutting them out of your life, pray for them, seeking discernment. There are cases where God can restore a heart hardened by jealousy. It's not always necessary to sever ties 
unless God himself so directs, even when the other person doesn't change. Maintain love, even from a distance, protecting yourself from destructive energies. This stance reflects the teaching in Matthew 5.44-45, which instructs us to pray for those who oppose us, remembering that God, in his sovereignty, sends sunshine and rain both on the righteous and the unrighteous. On the other hand, humility is crucial. When God elevates you, don't allow pride to take root. James 4. 6 reminds us that God resists the proud but gives favor to the humble. The correct posture before your own achievements strengthens your relationship with God and prevents others' envy from affecting you more than it should. Finally, before looking at other people's envy, reflect on yourself. Do you genuinely rejoice in others' successes, or do you exhibit some of the behaviors described here? The Bible teaches us to remove the speck from our own eye before attempting to remove the log from our neighbors. If you discover that you have, in some measure, displayed similar attitudes, ask God to transform your motivations and heal any bitterness. Thus, your growth will not only be professional or material, but also spiritual, reflecting the character God desires in each of us. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, I lift up my praise to you for the gift of your word, which illuminates my path, sets my mind free, and guides my heart. I thank you for your unshakable mercy and constant love, sustaining me at all times. Today, as I read your word, I clearly see that there are those who harbor envy and ill intentions against me. I am grateful that you want to deliver me from this trap and place me among people who truly love you and seek your will. Grant me discernment to recognize the true motives behind the words and actions of those around me, as well as wisdom to handle each relationship sensibly. If anyone in my circle is nurturing jealousy and malice, I ask that you expose them and remove them from my life, regardless of how close they are to me. Surround me with trustworthy individuals and protect me from those who do not seek my well-being. Open my eyes to notice false friends, those who feign interest merely to obtain information to harm me. Teach me to retain important data and to avoid sharing sensitive details with those who do not intend to build, but to destroy. Give me the ability to discern who deserves my trust and who requires caution. If due to inattentiveness, I've already lost time, resources, or opportunities through involvement with unsuitable people, I plead that you restore everything double. Restore the time invested in erroneous bonds and guide me to true relationships, like the solid friendship between Jonathan and David. Help me discern whom I can trust and before whom I must remain prudent. When I face discouraging words, grant me the courage to stand firm in my convictions. Help me resist negative voices by countering their declarations with your truth. I now break every plan devised by envious hearts, declaring that such schemes will not prosper. I rebuke every attempt to tarnish my reputation, motivated by envy. I intercede for those who are consumed by this feeling and cannot see the unique talents and gifts you have placed within them. Show them the value they have in you. Deliver them from the enemy's traps, for we know the devil finds a foothold in jealousy. To attack, still, I trust what your word says. No weapon formed against me shall prevail. At the same time, I ask you to keep me from harboring envy in my own thoughts. If I have ever envied someone, forgive me, Father, and free me from this poison. Help me keep my heart pure and protected from destructive feelings. Keep me humble, Lord, and elevate me according to your perfect timing. When they try to diminish my supernatural experiences and your intervention in my life, 
Help me keep my eyes fixed on you and always acknowledge your hand working in my favor, Holy Spirit. Lead me into a deeper relationship with you, for I know that under your guidance I will not fall into the enemy's traps. Give me eyes that see and ears that hear, so that I will not be insensitive to your instructions. May every achievement I attain be returned to you as praise, honor, and gratitude. In Jesus' name, amen.